Joined by head coach Heather Bullen after the Jaspers lost to Quinnipiac. Coach, if you could start off with an opening statement. Yeah, it was a, it was a, another hard-fought um, MAC contest. Um, obviously, Quinnipiac's, you know, the top team in our league, and I, I was very impressed with our effort for the first three quarters. I mean, it was, you know, back and forth, a really intense game. Um, but unfortunately, that fourth quarter, I, I told the team the biggest disappointment I had in that quarter is I just felt like we didn't play that quarter to win the game. We got timid. We got timid on offense. We got timid on defense. And, and to, to beat a, a, a high-caliber team like Quinnipiac, like, you've got to play. And you've got to, you've got to play to win. And, and so that was what I was most disappointed about. But we had some, you know, incredible efforts by, by the team. Um, but, you know, just through three quarters. And obviously, a game is four quarters, so we've got to do better. After the last game, you talked about trying to win the rebounding battle yeah. in the first two quarters. You did 16 to 15. Yeah. What went right there? Yeah, no, I, you know, I, I feel the team is committed uh, to, to, to trying to, you know, I told them if you really want to be a, um, in the upper echelon on this league, we've got to, we've got to, obviously we've got to score, we've got to defend, and we've got to rebound. And, and you know, rebound is definitely something that we can control. Um, you know, so we had some, some nice, you know, it was a balanced effort tonight. We didn't have, you know, a double-digit rebounder by anybody, but it was people are going after it. But unfortunately, I felt like every second-chance rebound we didn't get, they, they converted on. So we've got to try to limit them, uh, what they have, nine, nine boards, um, offensive boards. So we got to do better. How special was it for you as a head coach to be a part of a 1,000 point ceremony for Kayla? Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm incredibly proud of Kayla. Um, you know, she's been one of those stories where you know she was a good player. I felt like when we got here, but I feel like she's really has made herself into a great player. Um, so anytime you, you have a kid that just puts in that extra time and that extra commitment to really take that next step in, in terms of um, ability, uh, I'm just extra happy. You know, and I was great that her mom was able to come for the ceremony. Um, but yeah, I, you know, Kayla's a great girl and she's a great player, and I'm, I'm very happy that she's on our team. New Year's resolutions for you and the team hanging up 2018? Yeah, no, I, you know, right now I, I just, you know, we're definitely a work in progress, you know, and I think some of the freshmen are, are definitely um, being a, a major factor in terms of our, our ability to co be competitive in this league. Um, but, you know, in the New Year's, like, we just have to make sure that we finish, and that, that's, that, that's the biggest thing that we're looking for to do.